everyone. It's Melanie here with Vintage Hill Studio. I'm so glad you could join me today. I'll be working on this graduation card and here it is in all its simplicity. So let's get started. First of all, I bought this die on Amazon and I have no idea who the maker is or who the seller is. I just got it on Amazon. As well as these stamps, they're sold by Gen Craft. I'm not sure they're the makers, but it doesn't matter. And then Park Lane makes this embossing folder. And to begin with, my card base is four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to be starting from the inside this time. And you'll see why as we go along making this card. So I bring over my mini Misty stamping platform and I like to put my card in this direction. Uh, when I close the lid over my stamping platform, it won't do anything to that front flap. So I'm just going to get congrats grad, that's easier spelled out than it is to say it, get that stamped down with my VersaFine ink. It always does a fantastic job. And then when these are clear stamps like this, it allows me to lay that over my card and see how it will look before I stamp the image. So then I just take a little stamping block, because these are so small, it is easy to just stamp that while it's still positioned in my stamping platform. This only takes a short time to get all my stamps done and then I'll bring over my watercolor pencils and a water brush. And the reason I like to use watercolor pencils, since I did stamp directly on the inside of the card, and this is some fairly heavyweight cardstock, maybe a hundred pounds, um, I don't want to take the chance of alcohol markers or brush markers going through my cardstock. Again, I stamp directly on the inside of my card and I'm coloring these with watercolor pencils which will not show through the cardstock. So I just took some gray and now I'm using a little black and I'm concentrating on the corners because I want to add some natural highlights and shadows. So that's the purpose of the way I've kind of roughly colored in my mortarboard or graduation caps. Now I'll take my water brush and just move this watercolor pencil around until it smooths out the uh, color here. I get a little better of a highlight on this cap here on the right than I did on the left, but that's okay. It's just adding a little splash of color to the inside of the card. Just a little extra detail. I'm all about the details. And that does it for the inside. So now we're going to move on to the outside of the card, the front of the card. I'll be adding a little bit of dimension, which is why I went it to do the inside of my card first. So you can see I'm going to adhere a yellow mat, and then on this white mat I'm going to use that embossing folder which the white mat fits in there perfectly. I will bring over one of my favorite tools, the Sizzix Texture Boutique, and I'm going to run this embossing folder through there quickly. Now, this slips around a little bit because I have it on a rubber pad here. If I had it on my glass mat or my desk, it would not slip because it does have rubber feet, but visually I'm trying to make this easier to see on the video. Look how beautiful that embossing folder comes out. Okay, here's our little die. And I'm going to run that through on some black cardstock. And this is my Sizzix Big Shot die cutting machine. Pull that off of the plates. And I will bring over my Spellbinders tool in one tool. I'm sorry I put this on black, it's very hard to see. But I just simply rub that across my die. Now, if I'd used a little heavier black card stock, this die is actually very sharp and the pieces just fall out. But this was a little bit lighter weight card stock that I used, so I'm having to use my tooling one to help me get some of those smaller pieces out of the die cut, the more intricate pieces. But this still goes pretty quickly. And it will be completed and done. And just look at this beautiful silhouette. So you can see there are some little score lines that the die makes, and I'm not sure what that was for. 
There are no instructions or anything that comes with this die, so I'm just winging it here. And I did measure it, and it happens to fit perfectly over my white mat, which was four by five and a quarter. So now I'm bringing over my handy dandy silicone mat that was actually meant for a microwave, but it works great for any adhesives, whether you're using this tape runner or liquid adhesives or even hot glue. I can get right up to the edge, and if I get any on that silicone mat, I just simply take my finger and roll the adhesive off. And as you can see, it makes for a nice work surface because when I do go over the edge like this, my cardstock doesn't even stick to the silicone mat. So that makes it a very, very good work surface when you're doing a lot of adhesion. Now my titanium scissors and foam tape off camera, I went ahead and added a little bit of foam tape to that mortar board and on the diploma. And I'm going to fit my embossed mat face down into that little sleeve. So then I can take that little framed area that came, you know, with dye there. The dye made that and get that stuck down. But to make sure that I'm going to be okay with this, I'll take a little liquid adhesive and go over everything once more. And then that will go over our yellow base mat. And I debated on whether to put a sentiment on this card or not, but I think it came out so beautifully with the embossing folder and this intricate silhouette that I just didn't want to mess with it. I'm going to stick to the simple method here and let the embossing folder and the die cut do all the talking on the front of my card. I was really happy with the way it came out. I think it looks great. The sentiment on the inside speaks for itself. And that finishes our card for today. You can see the dimension with that popped up on the bottom, the inside, my back stamp, and of course my lined envelopes. I have a lot of videos on YouTube about how to line your envelopes and other options to make your envelopes a good finished product for your cards. Thank you for stopping by today. I had so much fun sharing this card with you. I hope you will subscribe to see more videos and I look forward to seeing you next time. Happy crafting, everyone!